wrestling is, I don't want to say it's like back to like the 90s or ruthless aggression or anything like that, but it's definitely better than it was when it was basically, you know, right after COVID. When we were on the, we, we already had a channel, but we wasn't like, you know, we were doing it for wrestling fans. Now we feel like, you know, we, we might have to mention little things here and there for the casual, which is why I mentioned, you know, the name is Dynasty. So when you're looking at this card, who got, you know, Dynasty type stuff at stake? Tyler Breeze, Prince Pretty, and this is Wrestling's Behind the Curtain. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Kenzo the Great. I'm in. Yes, Y'all already know what it is. Y'all see the thumbnail. AEW Dynasty Predictions. So, let's just get out of the way. Matt Hardy will not be showing up because he showed up on TNA Rebellion last night. So, okay. that's not happening. So, let's get into the card. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, do all the good stuff. Join the Discord, get the Patreon, get the merch, all that good stuff. We hit. You know, we have to get you in and out. All right, we're going to just get straight into it. I believe this is where the match, the, the car should start. Could be wrong, but who knows. Uh, Adam Copeland, formerly known as Edge, or oh, it's a trio's match. I think I said that already, but Adam Copeland, formerly known as Edge, with Eddie Kingston and Mark Briscoe versus the House of Black. And I do want to mention some as we look through, as we go through the car, and as I'm picking fights, um, it's called Dynasty, right? And we know AEW tries to, you know, I mean, it's wrestling. Wrestling always try to do their, their, uh, the background stories and the storylines and the whatnot. It's funny as we we can talk about it now. It's probably I wanted to maybe mention this on Be Yourself, but it, it applies here too. Remember we talked about wrestling being more mainstream and stuff, especially with the last WrestleMania and stuff. I, I, again, I try to stay off Twitter, especially nowadays. But if you look at the timeline, it's definitely way more mainstream. It's even though WrestleMania is over and it's not on ESPN anymore per se, but it's still got I want to say more popularity than it did six months ago, a year ago, thirteen, whatever, whatever metric you want to use. Wrestling is. I don't want to say it's like back to like the 90s or ruthless aggression or anything like that, but it's definitely better than it was when it was basically, you know, right after COVID. When we were on the, we, we already had a channel, but we wasn't like, you know, we were doing it for wrestling fans. Now we feel like, you know, we, we might have to mention little things here and there for the casual, which is why I mentioned, you know, the name is Dynasty. So when you're looking at this card, who got, you know, Dynasty type stuff at stake, which, you know, definitely when you, when you talk about the head of this card, it's going to affect my uh, decision. So when you're looking at this, if you talk about Dynasty and we look at this card, it's a trio's match. It's got to be House of Black, right? The other trio, not even a real trio. Uh -huh. So I'm going to go House of Black here. There's no way you built House of Black for all this time. This big, cool thing. It's, been, it's not been perfect, but on and off again. And then you're going to have them go lose to Edge, Mark Briscoe, and, and Eddie Kingston? I don't even know. What? I'm going to go House of Black. Go I'm going to go House of Black because of a different reason, though. One, like you said, they're not a trio, so that doesn't make sense. Two, it's not really for a belt or anything. So that don't matter. Three, despite what we think or what we've been saying, the triple the triple H Paul Levesque era is on fire. I don't think you want to make these guys lose because buddy buddy's wife he's over there. Why wouldn't he leave? Uh, Malachi Black's wife he's over there. Why wouldn't he not want to leave? So making these cats continue to lose, which was the shit that was happening before, I don't think you want to do that. So. I don't know if it matters at this point because their mind could be made up already, but I don't think you want to help their decision and, and them leaving. And if, sure. if it's true, because I don't care about seating and ratings and attendance and all that shit, but if it's true, you know, the the buildings are getting fewer and fewer. So I don't think uh, I don't think you want to do anything to discourage them. So I'm going to go with House of Black. So House of Black, both of us this time. Uh, next up, for the FCW Championship, your boy Hook, the champ, I guess, because he got the belt or whatever, versus the Lionheart, Chris Jericho. Um, I mean, we go again back to that that word dynasty, legacy, all that. I, it got to be Hook for me. He's a younger guy, up and comer. Uh, he, Chris Jericho is a great person to put people over. He, he, you get in the ring with him, he's going to make you look good. Hook, Hook still got a little rawness to him, but he, he got he got a swag that people like. His in ring isn't bad; it's just not anything crazy, to be honest. He got some moves. It's like okay, that's nice. You definitely don't expect him to be, you know, even his size doing that. But again, 
I think it's a good stepping stone for him. So I'm gonna go with Hook. What's crazy is on the card that I was saying about pre-recording. I don't have that on there. So it's a good. Uh, it's, mm, it's AEW graphic, so I'm sure it's real. Card something to change, of course, but you know. Um. So everything you said is pretty much correct. Hook is good in the ring. His his mic work is no ditty is is not that great. Because I'm pretty sure like Jericho's trying to get it out of him. Pause. That's why they have this match going up. And if you see when he whenever he says stuff, and then he's waiting for Hook to say something, Hook stuff just it just don't hit. Like when he attacked, I, I mean, he attacked, did you mention that he attacked his dad, right? And right. then all, all he did was run up to him, put the mic to his face, pause, and say, "Get out, get out of my ring." Like he didn't even try to fight him. He didn't try to do nothing. It was just it it, it didn't. So I, I wasn't really thinking about that, but now that you mention that, yeah, his 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 uh promo skills ain't the best, right? But when you think about it, when you like when you're not the best in the ring. You could ring like you know enough wrestling. The ring rust go away. You learn the stuff. You, you experience. I'm not sure it works the same way for mic skills. Can you improve your mic and promo shit? Yeah, but I don't think you just oh you in there with a, with a person who's good at promo. You automatically get better. Ask Roman how that went for him being in there with John Cena. No, you just, you just look stupid. Like did you did he get better? Hell yeah. He just, what he did though was he went away. He changed up the style completely. You like you literally got to go and see what works for me because it's not just one promo style. Who can't out come out here and do John Moxley promo? That shit wouldn't be fucking believable. We know John Moxley crazy. We don't think Hook is crazy. We think Hook got it. Hook got some sweat. He got to come out there with some, maybe some of that dude with the Jack, that Jack Perry instead of the Jungle Boy, something, something like that. He got that swag. He, he just got to, you know, maybe he don't got to say a lot of words. But I don't, I, again, I ain't never really think about it, but I don't think just being in there with someone like Jericho, yeah, if you're in the ring, yeah, it's going to make you a better wrestler. I don't know how much of a better promo guy it would make him personally. I could be wrong, but I just don't see that being how it works. I think he should be himself. I mean, this isn't a, this isn't a promo class, but because I think he's, I think he, I think from what I see, I feel like he's fighting being who he is and trying to promo. Because cause as far as I know, you know, Taz and Hook, they're New Yorkers. Hence the reason why uh, Hook's... Um, is Hook a New Yorker? I know I know Taz. I don't know. you know. Yeah, because I think that's why his music is... Um, I forgot boy's name. But uh, that's why his theme song is from Buddy. Fuck, what is the dude's name? I forgot now. Dude that sounded like Ghostface. I forgot his name, but he's even been on AEW. But I'm pretty sure that Hook is a is a New Yorker or whatever. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Just 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 put the swag in there, put the lingo in there, because you know that's, that's what New Yorkers do. Just just rock with it instead of trying to promo a whole different style. Because everyone knows when everyone finally finds who they are, what do they say? Well, this was really me. We just, I just turned it up to ten. Everyone Action said, Brunson is the person you was thinking of. Yeah. So no one's ever said, no, you know, I had to just create a whole different character, like something that was totally not me, and then it worked. Everyone has pretty much been themselves. They just turned it up. Oh, I about to say, we, de we definitely heard uh, we had to do something completely not me. It's just we never heard that shit work. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. With the exception of Kane and Undertaker, because they, they ain't really dead. But other than that, you already, you already know what it is. So I'm going to go with Hook, because it makes no sense for Jericho to win, or win the bell. Plus, since Jericho attached, uh, attacked Cat Taz, I'm pretty sure maybe Taz is going to has some kind of interference, maybe. So, I'm gonna go with hook. Speaking of which, Brian Cage still being on his roster is insane. But anyways, we don't have to get into that today. I I completely forgot. I can't believe I just saw that. Um, so we both going hook here. There's no reason for Jericho to win again. Like I said. Uh, next up, um, oh, you said you didn't have. Oh. Wait, time out. You said you had. We had the same number though. So which one do you have that I don't have? Well, I, I got some. That. I got Samoa. I got Tony Storm. Kyle Riley. Kushida Okada. Uh, House of Black, Julia Hart. Wait, know? you say you got Tony Storm? Yeah. That's what I don't got. Okay. <laughs> that's important. It's the AW woman. It's funny. You know, it's funny. I knew about it because that's what's trending on Twitter right now is, uh, is Tony Storm. Oh, no. Tony Storm is on here. I'm tripping. So what's missing? Whatever. We'll get into that later. We'll figure it out. All after right. we uh, say them all. So since you brought it, I'm bring, I'm, let's just talk about it real quick. It's a, it's a, it's a segue. It's not really a segue. We're just going to talk about it. Brian Cage? Because people were making noise. Oh, he should have went to WWE. He would have been better. No, he wouldn't. The thing about the thing about Brian Cage to me as a fan, or AKA supporter, I like the word fan, as a supporter, nothing against him personally. He's like, here's a great dude. In the ring, he's cool. Whatever. Not my cup of tea. But he just doesn't do anything for me. Like, I don't see the charisma. I don't see like special moves. Like to me, he's like a a 1980s wrestler. 
He's just big as fuck. Diddy's just tough. He's big as fuck. No Diddy. His moves ain't all that crazy. And that's it. He's just a powerhouse dude. So unless you can create a character for him that just straight like Umaga ish type shit, like there's really no. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if Umaga. I don't know exactly what you mean by that. There's different ways to look at it. It's but like, if you mean like, like, like a killer. Boss. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, if you're talking about like in the ring, coming in, killing people, that's probably the best way to do it for him. Um, We're not professional wrestlers. We say that all the time. Obviously, he, he could run us ragged in the ring. But again, when you're looking at him on TV as supporters, which we are, we got this channel, our channel, we do it before we want, we say what we want. Uh, it's just, again, I mean, we see plenty of strong dudes. What's, what's special about you? What's different about your strong? Why we want to see your strong? He can get, he's not giving me any reason to see his strong compared, compared to a powerhouse Hobbs or. We could, the list goes on, especially in AEW. They was talking about how it's only small guys, and then they went and got their big guys. It's, I mean, we could do big casts instead. Why would I want to see this guy? Big cast got a whole bunch of reasons I would want to see him, for example, you know? And then the other part you mentioned, it was the, the, the charisma, the, the mic skills. Yeah, the, the promo was... Just, I mean, again, everyone who got a promo. We just talked about Hook. But, again, for this guy to be this big, he'd been in the roster this long, he had problems with the roster. Or, 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 well, his wife seemed to be, if I remember correctly. I don't remember the exact details. So it was like, well, this guy's still around. He's supposed to be using him for what exactly? I mean, this roster is, again, too bloated. And, again, if we could keep complaining about that shit with uh, WWE, we got to keep it 100 when we come to AEW. Is again, you can't you just, you just can't use everybody. Like, why is this guy sticking around on six-man tags? He on Ring of Honor. He's still doing indie shit. Like, like, who, who, what blackmail this guy got? Who picture has he got? Like, no shit. He should probably go to TNA. Yeah, I'm, you, I mean, that's, that's nicer than what I was going to say. I was going to say MLW. Or either, well, he'll definitely be cool in MLW. TNA, oh, yeah, he, he, he's he right, uh, like, they, they in their wheelhouse. Yeah, TNA, I just think, because they're trying, but, you know, they can still use some bodies. But all right, cool. So he's not, in the, he's not on the card, so what's next? All right, knowing you how I know you, I don't think you're going to like this one. I don't, um, Roger Strong versus uh, Kyle O'Reilly for the International Championship. I kind of like Kyle O'Reilly. Right? I, I, no, I, 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 I kind of like Kyle. I just don't understand the point of this feud being here. Well, I think, I think it... Yeah, go ahead. You go first on this one. Because I got to think. I don't know. I I'm think, leaning uh, Kyle O'Reilly, though. But let me I see what you got. Let me see. Maybe you could persu persuade, uh, change my, my mind. Probably not. I'm thinking it was supposed to be more in-depth. But since Adam Cole isn't there... Which they say that he's not there anymore because they just want him to heal because doing TV appearances wasn't helping his healing um, any faster. So he's pretty much off TV, period. Or I could be wrong. If he shows up today, then I'm going to be wrong. But from what they said, reported, that they're leaving him home so that he can heal. So I think okay. that feud was supposed to like go way longer than it was supposed to be like, oh, yeah, that's my best friend. Oh, that's my best friend. That's my best friend. Blah, blah, blah. And then shit was going to happen with them to where it ended up to where we're at now. So I think, I think they hot shot it. Um, as opposed to who's winning, depending on where they want to go, I feel like it does better for Kyle O'Reilly to win than for Roger Strong. But I don't know how to call it because Roger Strong has a squad. Kyle O'Reilly doesn't. So they could pull some shenanigans and Roger retains. So... Unless they want to hot shot the the belt like they were doing to TNT for a while. But I'm going to say Roderick retains because of some shenanigans. So that was the thing for, for me, right? I think story-wise, Kyle O'Reilly winning would be a good time to pull that trigger here and there's a lot of stuff. But then it goes to other ways. How's it going to make sense? This guy got a squad and all this other stuff. And I believe, uh, if I remember correctly, when uh Kyle when Kyle like disappeared or whatever, you know, Roger was still around. He wasn't like doing big shit, popping big shit, but he was, you know, always on TV. Kyle O'Reilly went away, quote unquote. So it's like it seems like less and less reasons to give Kyle the win, like a plausible win. But at the same time, if you want to move on story wise, I think Kyle's the one to move on with. Uh, I'm gonna go, yeah. Since we, we keep talking about how we have too much of the same stuff on some of these cards anyway. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm gonna stick with Kyle here. I wouldn't be surprised if Roger retains. It's just that's that's just not the way I think they should go, personally. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Next up, for the TBS, we got Julia Hart versus Willow Nightingale. Julia Hart being the champion, in case you ain't know. Not you, the, the people. You want to go first with me? Uh, 
shit. I mean, I like Julia Hart. She's still a little green. Um, I, I, I can't call this really. I, I mean, I like, I, I, ain't nothing wrong with Nightingale either, to be honest. They, they're both pretty decent wrestling, but, you know, keep saying the same thing we keep saying about uh, women's wrestling on AEW. Just keep, keep, keep on keeping on, basically. I'm not going to back on you too much this time because obviously you're still trying. That's, that's what we asked for. You're giving the TV, TV time. The end this match is only two female matches on here, but I mean, again, how much with the roster you have and the way the stories are constructed, there's not a lot of options really to have. I mean, with nine matches on a card, if you was gonna push it to ten to have it be three women, I'm not sure how many what the third match would have been. So, oh my God. I'm trying to also keep in my brain how many retentions we got going on. So the first match there's no belt, so it doesn't matter. Hook, not a real retention, but whatever. So this might be the first one that's like a real belt because the international championship. I don't know when we even started started caring about that. Uh, FTW, we don't care. It's just something that Hook and uh, I think uh, Hobbs had it for a little bit. It's literally been back and forth between them. So I'm a, I'm gonna go with the first real retention of that. I'm gonna go Julia Hart retains. Uh, hopefully it's a good match. We got some story story development and movement, but I, I can't say one way or the other it makes a giant difference to me. If I'm being one thousand percent honest. Okay, I love Julia Hart. So I would I want her to retain, but for where I'm about to go, which I'm gonna say two different storylines. So. It's going to be weird. I think Willow wins so they can have that Willow Mercedes shit. Okay. But that still, they still got wrestling beef from New Japan. Mm -hmm. Even though they made sure the first thing she did when she came in was defend her, whatever. I would complain about it again. I did that. You know, I'll go back and look at that video. <laughs> Mercedes thinks that Willow hurt her in New Japan. So no, I mean, but. From, okay, real quick. From what I remember, because this is a while ago, that was like, like that's not even a work. Like Mercedes okay. legit, got legitimately injured, like a decent injury. And again, and it was, I mean, obviously no hard feelings. You can use that, but the thing is, like, I don't really want to complain about this. Game. It, it just doesn't make sense that that happened. Like that's a real thing. We could use that. Then why? Why? Either what they should have done if they was gonna do that, maybe they should have acted like uh, she forgot, like completely. Like oh, I mean, or act like oh, oh, I know it wasn't you. I know it wasn't your fault. I know, and then oh, I know it wasn't your fault. Bring her in. We're going to be friends, then betray her, something like that. Like, the fact that we know that that was a real thing that happened, it's a thing that they acknowledged. They, I guess, I mean, if you help the girl, we're going to act like, you know, on television, you move past it. You, as Mercedes, never acknowledge it. Yes, the commentators say things so the, us, the supporters can hear and whatever, but Mercedes never acknowledged it, like, from, like, not never, but when she first pops on the scene, doesn't acknowledge it at all. And then Willow, at the end of the, that, that card, Willow holds her up like, oh, yeah, see, this, you know, real fighter right here and all this stuff. Well, okay, again, so... If he's gonna have Willow be that the what's the word I'm looking for like the, not the fall person but like someone who gets double cross right if he's gonna have it like she should have been com completely gullible like you just, and you, you gotta just, give that shit time to you just would have wrote it different you just would have wrote it different yeah I just I, yeah I can see the match happening like I, we we gonna get to the same place but I just think the the, the story is convoluted there you go that's what I'm looking for well I think all of that is happening right now but. So two different storylines. I think Willow wins because of that storyline I just said. So I think that sets up Mercedes and Willow, and then it's for the championship. And then people ain't got to say, oh, Mercedes just came in, and she got the world championship all ripped. Like she didn't, you know, so she works a little bit. That's one. And she helps put up, she helps put uh, Willow over, and she helps the TBS championship, you know, that division and that belt and make all that shit happen. That's one. Oh, because the reason why I said the Willow thing is because like maybe something happens like before this or during the segment or some shit, and maybe Mercedes is gonna help Julia or some shit mm -hmm. for some reason. I don't know. No, not Julie. Oh, I don't know what's gonna happen. But at some point, we see the footage of who really hit Mercedes and his Willow okay. and his Willow, right? All right. So that's why Mercedes helps. Now, the conflicting story that I have, the thing that takes all this shit away is, which I would hope, is what if what if Willow didn't hit Mercedes? What, what if, if she was like framed? What if the person that hit Mercedes was the one that I want? Britt Baker. Okay. And then we get that Britt Baker story. Oh, I didn't I didn't settle for a Jamie Hayter. I see more Britt Baker though, because it's like, oh yeah, everyone's talking about Mercedes. She was that shit, but I was that shit here. So I want that storyline to go. So that's why for this, I don't know. But if we're going to go with the original of what I said, a, a lot of this is what we're talking about today. It's going to be rambling. So I didn't even know that, guys. So sorry about that. But you just want to deal with it. So if this first storyline goes from what I think, I'm going to say Willow. But I wouldn't be surprised if I see what I said. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna go with Odell. All right. Don't even, be, Next. don't even be surprised if you don't see Sky Blue turn on Julia Hart. So I was thinking about it. What if they make it when you say when you mention that they can also make it seem like it didn't have to be one person. It could have been two people. They do it like that, and it, she thought it was Willow. No, it was like okay, I guess I'll get your back now. That we can do tag team version of if that's where you want to go. Because again, they mentioned they keep mentioning they keep doing it different ways. They keep like a little little tidbits here. They think I think they think. Let me say that that the next step to move the women's division is tag teams because they tried it before. Number one. Number two, what, one of the things we keep saying is treat the men's like treat the women's like the men. And the best part of the men's people keep saying, and we we are amongst those people is the tag team division. Mm-hmm. So if that's the best thing the men got, then you got to give at least the women got to at least have it if we're gonna talk about being even. In theory, again, I don't know if they're gonna do that properly. You can't just arbitrarily just inject tag teams into. I mean, again, we've had we have a decent amount of clicks and all that stuff in AEW, so it's not gonna be like impossible. But you can't just bloom a tag team division out of nowhere it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna take some some legwork but if that's the way they want to go about it that is a good way to do it you know mercedes mercedes comes in and she's very serious about winning belts and one of the belts she decides she wanted is oh we're gonna get a tag team belts because these bitches attack me i, I said bitches not her but again slowly don't 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 try to cancel me um so yeah so her again i'd still probably complain about the way the willow thing but that would actually make more sense that willow was so friendly because it really isn't willow and you're not gonna do it like that again now if willow not the fall person it's even better so that's another way to look at it but well, yeah what? Tony has swerved us a couple pay per views lately, but the word around is going this is going to be a pay per view that we don't forget. So anything could happen, supposedly. So I wouldn't be surprised. But you got Julia, I got Willow. Yeah. All right, what's next? Next up for the AWU Continental Championship, you got Kazushiko Okada. Versus Pac. Depending on how it goes, could be match of the night, maybe, or in contention. But I don't see Okada coming, signing, losing. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go big retention for this one for me, though. This would uh, be you know, the, 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 without a doubt, retention. Yeah. If, you, if you've if been on, if you're not on this channel, you know, I love New Japan, you know. If you really know, I, I love because you go Okada. That boy could go. That boy, a wrestler, wrestler. He's, so I definitely, and Pac, man, Pac might be slept on. Pac was, again, people love Pac on NXT. I mean, the ro- the main roster there didn't go exactly, exactly how people wanted to go, but that was actually still pretty good, I think. I mean, there were some parts that was pretty bad, but in the ring, it was still good. And then he came over to AEW. He'd been killing ever since. Actually, the only thing getting hit Pac's way is fucking injury. Every time he's he's been fine, he here, he popping. The attitude, the wrestling, the, the 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 trios, the tag teams, every literally every way you can go about it, Pac, you know, he he fired. Let's be honest. But again, this cause that you go caught him in the, the rainmaker, you know. So um he ain't come here to lose. At least I didn't think so. We might we might get a five star match. I'm like like legitimately like this could be match of the night, like you said, match match of the month, match maybe not match of the year, WrestleMania bang this year. Definitely. But <laughs> so yeah. We we on the same tip on this one. Uh Pause. We're going straight to the yeah move tough. So we're going straight to to, to the next one. Uh, AEW World's Women Championship. No, let's let's not do that. Let's just go to what might be match of the night. Will Osprey actually? Win. Oh, before we, there's another one I got here that we can get to before that. Then if you don't want to go to the women's championship belt either, we could do the the tag team ladder match. Yeah, we could do that right after. But I definitely want to do since we think Okada could be match. What you want to go to the other one that's a match tonight? Okay, that's cool. Could too. definitely be. Match tonight, depending on the pace, because Osprey has been giving us bangers. Danielson can give us bangers, but sometimes Dan, sometimes Brian, sometimes he tells a story against a wrestler in a different way to where it makes the match not so great because he he plays it different. So I think depending on how they tell this story, it could be. Match tonight. I'd, I'd have to look it up because you know I like the numbers to back me up almost all the time. Even though, like, I think so like the so- first time. The first time him Okada fought, I don't think is it the first one. Like, how many times they fought? Twice. Twice. One of those matches, they just they told it a, in like a really slow way. And I was like, that's, oh. what, that's what I was gonna say. One of the things I was gonna say is um I I don't, I don't have the numbers to back me up, but I'm pretty sure they do. If you I'm pretty sure if you look at Brian Daniels' numbers, he probably averaged like the longest matches since he's been at AEW out of like any other other wrestlers. Like all of his matches seem to be like he going for a sixty minute Iron Man match every time. Do I appreciate the storytelling? Yes, but I mean this will offspring you in there with. Please don't do not do not turn this to a slow grind. This is this no, we don't need that. Again, you getting up there in age, I ain't gonna lie to you. And we do know you are a technically sound wrestler, but this is not the time we I need American Dragon Brian Danielson against Will Ospreay. That's what we need. Um this definitely has the potential for match of the year. 
not match of the night, all that. Because again, these two people in the ring, the Osprey, he do some shit. I ain't never seen nobody else say stuff, say or do. And then again, Brian Danielson, we 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 know his pedigree. You know, WWE, the American Dragon on the indie circuit, it don't matter. The, the man can wrestle. Uh, I really, I don't. I th- I think Will Osprey should win. I, if it's two, I think it's. I'm pretty sure it's one one, or it's one draw. I don't remember. Did they draw one of those? Ma- they might have drawn that first match. I don't remember. So, uh-huh. I, I I think we'll got to take it because it's, it's Dynasty, right? We keep talking Dynasty and Legacy. What you gonna do with Brian Danielson if he went? I mean, he's not. You can't do nothing. Let me not, not act like he's some type of scrub. But if you look at it, just just age availability and future prospects, it's got to be Will Osprey to me. Yeah, that's why I said. That's why I go with Osprey. Not only is, is he, doing- I like you just pick Osprey because you like him more. Because I know you like you. No, I love Osprey. Like, like, yeah, he's he's that dude. But exactly what you said. We're talking about Dynasty. We're talking about the new the new era of AEW. Yeah, Brian's that dude. But it's 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 passing on the torch time. Like, you got to You got to give it to Osprey and let, and let him go. So I give it to Osprey. Then you said you wanted to go into the Bullet Bullet Club Gold versus the Claim. Well, I mean, they got on here is a uh, Young Bucks versus FTR. Oh, you want you want to go that one? I, I want to say that one a little bit too. Oh, what's the one you just said? Bullet Club Gold versus the Acclaimed. That's the one I don't got. The other one that I don't got on this card. So I guess you can leave this one. It's for the Trios Championship. So we got two Trios matches on here. We just got a Trios match and we got one for the actual belt. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's kind of weird. I think, I don't know if they said it, but I think they should, uh, they should merge these Trio belts. I don't think that, I don't think that's, I don't think they said it, but I think they should. And I have to go with, I'm going to say that, I don't know how, but Jay White lost to um, Billy Gunn because of this. So that Bullet Club Gold wins. Because the same thing that I said with uh, House of Black, you have Jay White. You're not utilizing Jay White correctly. Jay White should have been champ already. Should have took that shit and went crazy with it, but he didn't. You can't do anything to make Jay White think about leaving. Like you're gonna have to start rectifying some shit. So, Bullet Club go. Yeah. Like the claim will be okay. If they lose. Billy Gunn doesn't matter. No shade because I like you, Billy Gunn. I'm just saying like it doesn't do anything for your career. You're already Hall of Famer. But the acclaim, it, everyone loves the acclaim as they say, as as the stitch goes. So it doesn't matter if they lose. But if we're building the dynasty, you need Jay White to take it, and you need to build up um, the guns. So, your, the main point that I agree with you on that is, if you're looking at taking the L, right? Taking the L is almost as important as taking the W. Where can you go from there? But you claim no one can bounce back like them, to be honest. Like, they're... I think they're the top comedy act in the company. I'm not saying they're the funniest, but there's, if you're looking at comedic acts, and like, and, like you got, like, Kenny Omega is a better wrestler, he's better, he's a better Bill, all that. But he's not just a comedic wrestler. He's just a happen. He's a, he's a rest, all around wrestler who could do comedic shit. These dudes, I'm not saying they're only comedic wrestlers, but they're the comedic wrestlers of the. They're, they're like the top billing, in my opinion, at least. So, funny people can bounce back from damn near anything. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and like you said, Billy Gunn has been around for how long? You think we really care? If Billy, oh, Billy Gunn win this? We're gonna be like, oh yeah, Billy Gunn Hall of Fame. No, it's not gonna change anything. So again, now if Bullet Club, if Bullet Club Gold loses, well, what the fuck are we doing this for? And it's that simple. So. I'm gonna go Bullet Club Gold winning for the, you know, basically for pure logic and common sense. They again, there's times there's been swerves on all all wrestling companies. They all doing, but this would be got to. I, I, if, if sometimes you say a swerve not coming just because it's stupid, not because you don't want to say it. It's, it would make absolutely no sense. So I, I can't see a swerve here. If it happened, Tony, we will be back talking and we will be complaining. I will say I called it and complained, but I'll complain nonetheless. You know, you know, there's a rumor that says that Tony's thought about um. Getting away from booking and giving it to someone else. If the someone else is the right someone, I'm cool with that. I mean, it depends on the someone, I guess, but yeah, it wouldn't be the worst idea. Yeah, I think we again, it is the probably. right person. If it, if it's someone gonna be worse than him, then yeah, we'll have the episode later. But what's next? Well, we kind of went out of order because uh, I didn't have that one. Uh, next up would have to be then. There's only two matches left. Yeah, oh, we the women's win. world championship. Yeah, yeah, it's, got, it's women's and then the world championship. Yeah, so for me. Me personally, I don't see any reason why Thunder Rosa wins. Yeah, this is all Tony's talking to me. 
unless we want to do the drama and Tony wants that Thunder Rosa Britt Baker. I was about to say, it depends where that other ma- where Julia Hart and Willow Nightingale goes, if there's any uh, Merce- I won't say Sasha. Mercedes uh, involvement in there, where that goes, because I mean, that could have... It- mm, 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 mm. I don't think Tony should lose. But if Mercedes only gets involved in the other match, and depending on how that go, or she don't get involved, I should say, she, depending on how that goes, we might see her in this spot and said, like, okay, well, and if, if, I mean, that's the thing, though. Realistically speaking, I mean, the Tony Storm, mm, the Tony Storm, Mercedes Money match would probably be easier to do later on compared to, you could, you'd have to probably do Thunder Rosa Mercedes Money right now. Right. Like, technically, we don't know who hit her. So whatever it was Tony that hit her, whatever it was Thunder that hit her, yeah, you can do. It. You literally go any direction with that. Um, I'm gonna I'm stick with Tony Storm here. I don't see why Thunder Rosa wins, but if there's shenanigans on the rest of the card, see that's what I was talking about. See now, you know what? So the, when we counted, you had nine, I had nine, so it's really ten because we each didn't have one. The other had. Well, really, you could knock off this first trios match and put another women's match instead. That way, you could have more space for even more shenanigans possible. I mean, again, I don't know what match you would put in there, but this trios match feels really unnecessary when you have a trios belt match. Yeah. On, so I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna stick with Tony on this one though. Yeah, I don't see why Thunder wins. She just got back. Nobody is really rocking with her at this particular moment, so I don't see why. All right. Last but not least, your champ in mind, Samoa Joe. No, we got two because we didn't do the um, the Young Bucks FTR. Oh, shit, we did skip that. We can do that next time. Let's do the, that. Reason why, the reason why I said I wanted to wait a little bit is because I need to put it on the YouTube channel. Go check it out. It's a real. You know, you want to check those out, support those like shares. Super thanks, those. It's all good. There is a rumor. A big rumor. Motor City Machine Guns will be debuting tonight. In this match. Mm-hmm. Some so of matches. Do we want to see Young Bucks versus Machine Guns or FTR versus Motor City Machine Guns? Whoever we want to see the most is winning. And I think that's the, I think that's the Young Bucks. See, that's crazy because we talk about like not that the Young Bucks don't go, but we talk about like outside the ring talking shit, all that stuff, the the drama and the story. Young Bucks versus Motor City Machine, machine Guns. I can see that leading up way better. But we talk about pure tag team wrestling. Machine Machine Guns. They they're like a tag team wrestling. And guess who knows tag team? Who's the face of tag team? Re- FTR. I mean, if I ever see one of them boys on a single run, I might, I mean, I'm already bald, but my hair might like literally like just jump away from my skin because like that, that they, they like epitomize 80s, 90s tag team wrestling. It's what they do. They're going to grind you down, cut off the ring like they boxing. Shout out to Ryan Garcia. Like they, they, they just, they, they really treat like a sport. And so again, the thing is, if you want to talk about being able to tell more stories, you do Young Books first. Because not only can you do Young Bucks first, you can do it three times if you do Young Bucks first. You do FTR, it's like, why would the Young Bucks care if uh, Motor City Machine Guns lost to FTR, let's say they lose. But literally, if you do it the other way, it doesn't matter who wins. The Young Bucks can come and be nuisances. So, again, the third time is what I'm saying. So, you can have literally four matches between three teams, depending on how you arrange it. And if you want more heat, Young Bucks said they only lost to FTR because of the CM Punk shit. I go with Young Bucks. Yeah, I went against them one time against FTR. I didn't go up too well for me. So yeah, you it can't was a banging match, though. Can't go against the EVPs. Now, lastly but not least, the champ Samoa Joe versus the challenger Swerve Strickland. Now this is hard for me, pause, because supposedly they say MJF is still hurt. Before I saw, oh, it, see, the I ain't gonna lie, I seen a tweet. I didn't read it because, you know, try not to have stuff influence our stuff while we're it. But they said, I mean, it's from, it was from an AW hater. I will say that. I don't AW hater on Twitter. But they were saying the company the AJ, uh, MJF bad, back really bad. And I could kind of see it. I mean, you, you're not going to suffer from having MJF on your TV. But this few, I think, it does depend on if he's if he hurt or not. I mean, obviously, there's, there could be setbacks and all that stuff. But I think, again, we talk about Dynasty. Samoa Joe has been a surprisingly good champion. I must put my hands up and say, you know, like I, I didn't hate on him. But I didn't expect this run. This run is better than I thought it was going to be. I will say that. Especially considering what we said about AEW and their belt runs. So it's always been the chase better than the actual run. This run, considering I had no... Maybe it's because I had very low expectations. But, but, but it's, it's been a, pretty good. But it's Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is badass. 
Yeah. No, it's also true. It's also it's also you know some more jokes. I mean, do you believe but, that? I mean, do you believe that story that's, that Kevin Nash smacked the shit out of him. Yeah, because I've heard a lot of Kevin Nash stories that that sound exactly like Kevin Nash. We talking about the same guy who won a, a belt with a poke. No, I'm saying like he said like backstage he smacked the shit out of Flojo. But I'm saying like we talking about the same person who had enough political power in wrestling to win a belt on national TV with a poke of death. But it's not exactly like Kevin Nash. Does that take away from Samoa Joe's gangster? I mean, I would. I, I don't know. Kevin Nash is a big motherfucker. Uh, it depends on how the issue exactly went. Did he just, you know, did he smack him and Samoa just stood there and just took it? I don't know. I don't, I don't yeah, know the whole story. That's, that's what the rumor is. And it's no shit to you, Samoa Joe, because I love you. That's why, that's why I'm asking the question. They said from the, from the Kevin Nash story, he got smacked and, and he said shit back. Because he was, I mean, let me, let me do the full context. Because I guess apparently he had said some shit that was kind of towards Rest in Peace Scott Hall, which I would understand why there would be beef. So maybe, right. maybe the smack was taken like, Oh shit, that's my bad. Like I shouldn't. Yeah, see, I'm about to say wrestling is just really uh not barbaric's not the word. I mean it is barbaric, but that's not the word I was looking for. Backwards is not it either. But there's a lot of respect and honor and stuff like that we don't know about, even though they do some of the craziest and worst shit. Like the way these guys betray each other and then they turn around and say how you can't betray your friends. We're like, well, the way you treat your friends is kind of crazy because you guys over here literally give each other drugs to just forget about parts of the day. So, but whatever. So I could have so if he could probably I could see it happening to where he's maybe he says something, he got smacked, he's like, Well, I was I'm probably wrong there. And it's also possible, I mean. Not to say Scott Hall need back all the time because he is a big motherfucker, but Scott Hall ain't really he, he's known for being part of the clique, you know. Like he's he not really kind of dude just walk around alone, he's, you know. So yeah. you got to pick your battles. I mean, again, it's, again, because okay, we don't know these people personally, but from what I know about Samoa Joe, he the, the gangster is real. That's so it's I'm like saying. okay, that's what I thought. Um, I only say MJF interferes because didn't Samoa Joe beat him? Yeah. So he comes back because the whole dynasty thing, thing was from what I from was originally rumored was supposed to be MJF. Um, fuck his buddy's name is that, that's on TNA that just lost last night. Fuck Alexander. Yeah, I see TNA last night. Uh, Jerry. Uh, fuck Alexander Ham Hammer Hammer some shit like that. Damn it! Where am I? Oh my yo, my brain is fried today. Too much four twenty. Too much. I want to say too much four twenty. But Alexander, <clears throat> some shit like that. Y'all know what he is. He was in MLW and then in Hammerstone. There, I think Hammerstone. He was in MLW. Then he went to TNA last night. He lost against uh, Josh Alexander yesterday. They were supposed to be in a click. And then since he signed, supposedly, then I kind of threw my theory away that, okay, well, maybe he's not going to show up in the dynasty. But you don't have to be medically cleared to cost someone the title. And I That's believe... True. I believe, which I thought I would never be here, and there's no shade of Swerve. The fans really want Swerve to be the champion. Which is crazy. Like, I didn't see that coming at all. His run has been pretty good lately. But I did not expect the fans to want Swerve to be the champion. So I think I think you got to pull the trigger. What do you think? You're talking about, again... Talking about dynasty, talking about legacy. I don't see how you don't give it to Swerve here because you don't give it to him here. Well, we talk about the other dudes on this roster. MJF coming back. You got it. You, 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 the, the pillars are all still around. We, who knows what, how Jack Perry run going to go in uh, New Japan? What, what, what stardom he going to come back with? You don't put a trigger now. Swerve might never touch the title. Because they, cause they had a triple threat, right? It was Ham It was um, Swerve, Joe, and um, what's his face, right? Heyman. And I Heyman. think. And I think the fans were like really going hard, like pause for a swerve, and they didn't pull it. And they, oh, well, maybe they didn't pull it because they're waiting for Dynasty. So it'd be like the Cody shit again. If you don't pull it here, like now what? Exactly. And if Dynasty is supposed to be that pay per view, then you know you would have Swerve winning new champion. You would have some shit happen with Mercedes. You would have maybe hopefully Brick coming back. You would have the Motor City Machine Guns coming. Like a whole bunch of shit would pop off. If you have, I'm surprised John Mox ain't on there. Hmm. I mean, he is a new IWGP champion. We can't get that on there, but I guess not. It's, the card's pretty full already, so I'm not too too surprised. They got to figure something out to do with that. Some motor, motor City Machine Guns. Do you expect anything crazy to happen? Like, would it be for you like an MJF or a Britt Baker? Britt Baker has to come back in some capacity. I don't know what Jamie Hader's. Um, physical shit is but she has to come back in some in some capacity so somebody's got to make a return 
Oh, yeah, it was Josh Alexander. That's his name. He too many defeated people. Hammerstone. Yeah, because too many people have been hurt for a while and ain't been seen on TV. But that's why I was, I was right when you said your last statement. I was also thinking to myself, well, Swerve might get a chance if somebody else get injured. Which I guess it's kind of like being a baseball player in the sense that, I mean, you know, people just gonna get injured. Like that's why this roster is just full. You just, I mean, you don't wait my turn. I mean, but I don't know how much because personally. It's almost like waiting for an injury. It's kind of like praying for an injury. And that's not the kind of karma I would want on myself. So I probably wouldn't want to even be like, oh, yeah, I'll wait in the back of the line because I probably get a shot through that. Because you don't even want to, you know, put that in the air on nobody else, especially, you know, these are not just your coworkers. A lot of times they're your friends and stuff. Um, and injuries in this industry are not the same as, you know, calling out sick for work. So it's a little different. Um, but again, you got to pull the trigger now. You, you just have to. And I do think Swerve could be a really good champion. And again, we talked about how this is the first time or the first time in a long time where Chase. And the rain felt equal or close. Let's keep that mojo going. And I think you can't do that if Joe holds the belt. What do you do next if Joe holds the belt? This is what I'm gonna say. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna predict some shit. I can there you go. Let's go. Samoa Joe about to win, right? MJ MJF music hit. Dun, 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 you know the fire music. Yeah. Fans go crazy. You know, I'm better than you, and you know it. Maybe he don't show up yet. Maybe it's just the music. Fucks up the yeah, show. Yeah, distract people. Yeah, you know how that go. Old okay. wrestling trope. I love it though. Yo, Swerve hits his move. Boom. One, two, three. Then at the end, after all the celebration, we do see MJF, and it's a stare down between him and Swerve. And the thing is, it depends. I guess it. Uh, see, this is the beauty, the beauty. See, yes, wrestling is like not real, but it is real. One thing that compared to regular sports, you always know when somebody come back for sure. Even though we say we kind of don't want to know when people come back because the surprises are good and all the other stuff. If for stuff like this, when we booking, I knew how injured MJF was, was it really helped me because he could show up there, not be fine, be like, well, I'll be back when I'm you know not injured anymore. Or he could be like, yeah, I'm back. It's cute. You got a belt now. I helped you. So I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know when he left, but the rumor was it, I forgot what it, what they said he tore his meniscus or some shit or labrum, some shit like that. So I think it was a labrum. The rumor shoulder. Was nine months. Sheesh. So I don't know when he went out again, but nine months for that. Hmm. Well, we'll see tonight. No, no, no way to, no other way to put it. You will, man. That's our predictions. Right, make sure you got like, share, subscribe, do all the good stuff, comment, super thanks, merch. Like you know what I'm saying? Like we, we getting up there, y'all. Like the heat is the heat is being real, but it's cool because the love has been better. But we almost at sixteen thousand, right? So however you want to slow play, we getting there. We about to get up there with the war cultures. We about to get up there with the fight force. Only thing that we do different is, well, there's two things that we do. Oh, there's three things we do different, which is why y'all should fuck with us. One, we don't play the politics. You're not going to pay us to say what we like and what we don't like. If we shit on AW, we shit on them. Shit on WWE, we shit on them. Don't matter who it is, anyone can get it, Paul. Second thing we do is, I lost my train of thought. Is we definitely answer y'all. People ain't answering y'all. You you ain't talking to Ryan unless you paying the money. He ain't talking back. No shade to it. I'm just saying. Unless y'all paying those, those those super chats and those patrons, they ain't talking back to y'all. We talk back here. We talk back in the community. We talk interaction and get that Discord. Talk on the Twitter. Like we talk back to y'all. Either for the minimal love that we get at times, we talk back to everyone. There's people I talk to on the community chat don't don't aim and subscribe. I'm still talking to them. That's us because we really supporters of the wrestling. Third thing that we don't do, we don't we don't have inside people. So I, I ain't Dave Meltzer. I don't know what the rumors is backstage or who said what back then. We giving it to y'all like y'all would give it to us. Pause. And that's it. So make sure you like, share, subscribe. And I said that to say, join the Patreon, join the Discord, get the merch. Like support the support the channel that you love the most. Maybe you won't see the channel no more. You know what I mean? And then you're gonna be mad. Oh shit, that was dope. Hey, what happened to them dudes? They used to talk wrestling, they used to shoot it straight, you know, it was with all the bullshit. Oh, well, you know, y'all wasn't paying, y'all wasn't giving them support. Y'all wasn't liking, sharing, and commenting and all that stuff, you know, that, that keep the algorithm going. Make sure we show up on some other people so they can show, see us, you know, shooting it straight. So y'all see us shooting it straight. And it's no, it's no shame. If you can't buy shit, that's dope. Free stuff is hit like. Yeah, share, subscribe, comment is two seconds, all that shit. Share, yeah, comment, that's all you gotta do. But with that being said, man, just be yourself, join the other podcast, and we out of here, man. Yeah.